Okay, here we go with uh, the second shelf in my second video. Uh, this is top shelf, a uh, five gallon fish tank that we picked up at a garage sale for a buck. Uh, can't beat that. Uh, in here I've got some micro syringes and some diastemas and some finias. Uh, little wood nymph is here, got diastema latifolia, I believe is the name of it. Uh, comes back. Um, Every couple of months dies down to a rhizomes. I just leave it sitting there and it comes back up. And same with the uh, Finias. Uh, these all have rhizomes in there. And uh, they just had their mass blooming here not too long ago. And they are on their way out. Uh, this one here has uh, got some seed pods on. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to focus in. Uh, I was going to try to capture them to dry them, but I was a little bit late and the seeds are already starting to sprout. Um, but it's nice. Uh, they keep coming back and don't have to do anything. Um, <clears throat> back when I was having problems with the plants, uh, I was trying to salvage what I could. And here's um, a bunch of African violet leaves that I was able to salvage. Uh, this has been, oh, maybe about a month or so ago couple seedlings that uh, I transplanted, some streptocarpus seedlings. Um, finally did get things back together, so here's another one where I actually started growing some more seeds. <coughs> uh, these are, oops, trying to get this focused in. These are Syningia white sprites, and the one here at the edge is uh, Finia multiflora. Uh, Seed, the last time I tried planting it, did not come up very well, so I plant, sowed very heavily. And you can see I got a lot of seeds off of this one. Um, well, we'll just save a handful is all I need. Um, in here, see if we can get some shots. Uh, not a whole lot of sprouted yet. I think I planted these uh, about the first week of December. Uh, here is a cross of my um, Streptocarpus uh, Isabella times... Uh, Dale's Polar Midnight. I do have... Okay, focus. I do have one there that's uh, showing variegation, so hopefully, thing luck, we'll get a couple more. Um, about ready. i uh, got some syningias there in the back. A couple of my crosses. Uh, I've got to work on transplanting some of those. Oops, wrong way. <clears throat> um, here's how I uh, start my streps. Uh, from leaves. I, I don't like cutting out the midrib like a lot of people do. What I do is I cut, well first of all let me show you an actual strep leaf. There's what the leaf is when it starts. You can see there is no stem to it at all. So what I do is I take the leaf and I cut it to make a stem and just plant it like a regular African violet leaf or what have you. Um, this one was put uh, put down about a month and a half ago, and you can see I've already got some uh, baby plantlets coming along. You don't get as many when you start them this way, but the plants that you do get are much larger, and they grow much quicker, and they come to a blooming size sooner. Um, <clears throat> so it's a trade-off, numbers versus uh, a quick bloom. Here's uh, one of my streps that I would manage to salvage. I was Really glad to keep this one going. This one was um, one that I brought the variegation through only using the um, pollen parent. And it's Royal Knight times Canterbury Surprise times Ice Pink Flamingo times an unnamed purple times by itself. So, uh, no uh, seed parent was ever uh, variegated on that. <coughs> Uh, here's uh, some seedling, uh, well they're not seedlings anymore, but they're a little bit bigger. Uh, some Syningia speciosas. These were some uh, mystery seeds from the last time I planted a bunch of seeds. Wasn't sure what they were. Turned out they were all giant Syningias. Um, <clears throat> here's one that I grew from the GHA seed fund. That's uh, Syningia species. I uh, know this is uh, Darth Vader. Almost lost it, but managed to get a cutting started. Um, this uh, little plant here with the flowers is uh, Glaxinia arenoides. Uh, the flowers smell like coconut. Um, kind of neat. They grow from a rhizome, so they die down, come back, die down, come back. Uh, there's one of the syningias in bloom. 
back there <laughs> is a little container that I have a bunch of mini syningias in, uh, micros, syningia, pacilla, white sprite, and snowflake. Um, honestly, I don't know if there's anything alive in there right now because it's been a long time since I've opened it up. Um, the trailing gesneriad, um, gosh, can't think of the name, neomortonia, I can't forget, this, I forget the species name. Uh, I'm going to get shaky here in a minute because I'm standing on a stool to be able to get this thing up here. Now i got to move down a little bit. And these are some of my uh, strips that I've grown from seed. Uh, I'm trying to get the best I can on these. Um, this, starting to fade, um, was from the GHA, Gesneriad Hybridizers Association Seed Fund. Um, I forget what the parents were supposed to be. <clears throat> get rid of some of these faded blooms. There's uh, one of my hybrids um, using Emily and uh, Ice Pink Flamingo. And here's another one using Emily and Ice Pink Flamingo. Um, I got some really nice plants, but they're, uh, they're just nice plants. Here's another um, Streptocarpus seedling from um, uh, Canterbury Surprise and Black Royal Knight. And there's another one. Uh, my efforts, <coughs> these are my efforts to get a black flower on a variegated plant so far. I've been having rotten luck because these always turn out to be uh, pollen sterile and uh, because the stamens are converted into petals. Uh, here's a <clears throat> here's another one of my hybrids. Um, I thought I had a, a lot of these were <clears throat> variegated, but I don't see any, so I think they lost their variegation for for a time. Hoping it's going to come back. Uh, there's a variegated one back there, and <clears throat> gosh, this uh, white one here was one of my first crosses. Uh, the new leaves on it are actually showing some variegation. Let me see if I can get my hand in here. Um, where's my hand? Oh, there we are. So uh, this white one's got some halfway decent variegation. And back behind, you see I got another Emily cross that's just coming back into bloom that is showing some really nice variegation. The plants are huge, so I'd need to do some serious cutting back on these just to give the plants uh, some room to, to grow out. <clears throat> and get some air movement in here because I'm sure I'll probably end up with some uh, uh, mildew problems. Uh, here's a, another seedling that I grew out, uh, getting ready to bloom for the first time. have no idea what this going to look like. That's from the Gisneri Hybridizers, Hybridizers Association Seed Fund as well. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Here's another seedling that uh, is variegated. That's one of my crosses that uh, was looking real pitiful and it's still looking pitiful but it's actually showing some new growth coming back um, it's got some really nice uh, variegation on these new leaves here showing up got to do some grooming to get rid of uh, some of this dead growth but uh, this is my second shelf um, got some really I got some nice ones I really like I like this one it's got a good blossom count uh, need to start it over um, this one here the uh, the pink is, I don't know if you can see it or not, but where the pink and the yellow meet, there's a band of almost orange, real pale orange. And then I said a couple others here. Um, I mean, they're not worth naming. Um, they're just some nice plants that I use for hybridizing. And got another one back there that one of my hybrids is just getting ready to come back into bloom. But I, it's been so long since uh, it's bloomed, I don't even know what it's going to look like. So that'll be a nice little surprise for me. So this is uh, the second shelf. Um, I do have one more shelf that I'll try to put onto a different one. Um, so there you go. Uh, thank you for your time. Bye.